Whenever I go out searching for bugs, I usually will head out to the woods. I will hike around for a couple hours trying to move slowly and look all over the place because a lot of times when I do spot a bug it's because of a little spot of color or maybe a flash of movement or maybe just the sunlight glinting off a web or a shell. If a bug is a little out of reach or maybe behind some other plants, I'll actually hold my camera and take my shots with one hand so that with the other hand I can take a hold of the branch or plant or whatever and pull it closer or twist it or turn it so that I can get the bug right in front of the camera. This is a North American millipede, and these guys can be a little hard to photograph because their bodies sit so close to the ground. But luckily I found this one climbing up a tree and was able to convince it to turn around and come back down towards me. That way I could get my camera right against the tree trunk and on the same level as him. Spiders can also be good subjects to photograph because after they get their webs made they'll sit really still and patiently in the center giving you plenty of time to get your shot. And in this instance I got lucky because right after I was done filming she caught a little black fly in her web. Before I really knew what was happening she had already run over and grabbed it and brought it back to the center and began eating it right in front of me. Other spiders like this wolf spider actually rely on their speed and their eyesight to catch their prey. When I saw him, he had already seen me and I only had time to get one shot off before he ran away again and hid underneath a rock. Garden can also be a good place to find bugs coming in for the pollen and the nectar. Also, I find that butterflies are generally a lot more tolerant of my presence when they're busy looking for food and eating something. These are hoverflies, and like bumblebees or honeybees, they will only spend a couple seconds on any one flower, so you have to be quick and get in and get your shot before they fly away again in search of another flower. This is a northern crescent butterfly, and along with a couple dozen other various butterflies, she was hanging around a shallow puddle. She's licking the rocks and the dirt as a way of getting more nutrients in her diet. After crawling around in the gravel for a little while, I finally managed to get one to sit still and fan its wings for me. So if you also go out searching for bugs to photograph, just remember to move slowly. Also take lots of shots because if you're anything like me, you'll end up throwing out a lot of them that just aren't quite right. Some days you'll see lots of bugs to photograph, some days it'll seem like there's only mosquitoes around, but if you stick with it, eventually you'll end up with some really good shots. <laughs>